Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. I really don't want to show you what's below me right now, but it's a whole mess of home bargains things that I need to now put away. I've just filmed a big home bargains vlog and haul. Sneak peek. Oh, don't look at it, don't look at it. I had a couple of packages arrive in the mail recently, which I thought I would open up with you guys today. Tom is in Nottingham, where he is at the cricket. I'm boring. And I'm going to see a friend tonight. Emily and I, we're gonna have a nice chill night, maybe a takeaway or go out for some food, take the dogs out for a walk. I'm gonna start with this one, because how beautiful is this packaging? Ammo couture, ammo couture, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's their website anyway, if you did want to check them out. They sent me two items of clothing. It could be my style, but the colour of it, I'm just, you guys know how much of a neutral wearer I am. So this baby pink colour, I just probably won't wear. The fabric of it is also quite stiff. It's like a little child stop, isn't it? I do love this style of top. I have a lot of them, you guys know, but especially like in white. I've got both pieces in a medium. It is cold shoulder with a slight bell sleeve. Is it peplum, would you say? Or like skater style. I've got like an upcoming weddings, christenings, anything like that. That could be quite pretty dress. Moving on to this one now. La Mer, which is one of my favourite brands, formerly Creme de la Mer. A range of three new products that they've got. This is the lip balm. Um, this is the lip volumizer. I'm excited to try that. And then this is the hydrating illuminator. Anything with hydrating and illuminating in it is me to a T. Give me the natural sun-kissed glowy dewy skin. I'm a fan. And then next I got this which was from... Clarins. Okay, so this is a new product that they have launched. I actually thought my mum could quite like to give this a go. Hold on, itchy eye. Price £58. It will be available from the 2nd of June. So this is the routine that you're meant to follow. Just sold something on Depop, so I need to send that to the post box. Post box? Post office as well. I also need some breakfast and some coffee. I'm trying to do intermittent fasting. I'm trying to like hold off my breakfast for a little bit. I do have a breakfast, lunch and dinner, but just trying to prolong the breakfast in the morning and have an earlier dinner. It's the 16-8 diet. It's not even a diet. It's just like a method of eating. Don't forget to stay tuned for the end of this video as well where I will be running my weekly giveaway. Do you guys remember when I went thrifting and picked up the wicker basket? I found a use for it. I've put it here next to the toilet with a load of toilet rolls in. I'm not really sure if it goes or whether or not I would put it there. For now it's staying there. We've just had someone coming to fit this smart meter that we've got. Tom bought this one, I think it's called Tado, T-A-D-O. Basically allows you to control your heating from your phone. A package arrived, so should we open this up? Oh, okay, so this is from a brand which is new to me. I've never tried it before, and it's called Flormar. It's a liquid illuminator. That looks like, is it Orgasm Strobe Cream from NARS? Not Strobe Cream, that's MAC, isn't it? Nas, it's just called the Illuminator. Shouldn't really be comparing it to another brand, but that is exactly what it looks like. And then this is a mascara, a blush in pure peach. That's a really pretty color. I have just put in a big order from the Lorna Lux in the star range, which is great because it's with Klarna, so I didn't even have to pay for it. And they're running 30% off. If you actually don't know about Klarna, a couple of websites use it. I know ASOS do as well. It essentially allows you to put in an order and then they invoice you 30 days I think it's about 30 days after. So you get to try it all on at home and you don't actually pay for it until you decide you are keeping it. So I think that's a great idea. I've also just had this delivered. This is from the brand Shop the Curated, which I first saw Emma Hill work with them. That's what it looks like. So they have some really nice coats. Oh my God, I can't get this open. I always get nervous when I watch people open packages with something sharp. <gasps> Freya Farrington vlogger, the curated. Curated for Freya Farrington. We hope this brings you joy with every wear. We've curated the most affordable and sustainable luxury that you can rely on every day to keep you effortlessly in style. The color of the coat that I went for is in Bone, I believe it's called. So it's quite a light, almost slightly pinky hue. I will probably style this up over my Instagram and it's 
the sort of coat that I could get away with wearing right now. But I'm just gonna have it out all year round anyway because you never know with the English weather. I love this colour. Bone it's called, like I said, I've already said that, keep saying bone. I'll leave it linked below if you wanna read up or see any more images of it styled up. You coming up to say hello to everyone? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yes, Jim. <laughs> You're so big, I can't lift you. Then there's this one down here. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, good boy. <laughs> I got up at half five this morning so I'm absolutely knackered. Tom had to get up that early to get to the cricket today in Nottingham. He's on route back on route back now. Got my dog cuddling fix, as you can tell, with all the hairs and slobber. Oh the things you do for dogs. And uh yeah, I'm gonna take off all my makeup. <laughs> Good night guys. Good morning, today is Tuesday and I've just parked up in Manchester. Lydia's just parking right now. We've managed to make it into an NCP and find a spot next to each other. So just a little tip, if you are coming to town early, if it's before nine, it's an early bird rate, which means it's only five pound 50 for the, well, for like 12 hours, which is amazing. So we figured because we were starting early this morning with a breakfast at the Ivy, we figured we would use this car park. So I'm just waiting for Lydia. There she is. Oh look, we've both got midi skirts on. Oh, I even nearly text you. I did. Just say well, I thought she's going to wear a blazer probably, so I'll throw on a leather jacket instead. Surprise, surprise, we're basically. And also, I didn't have any trainers that matched. I wanted to like find Aww. some trainers, but I can't find any. Right, so let's head on to the yeah. Ivy and then we'll update you there. So these are the some of the moda rules. No time like now and be more you. And then we are having our first course, followed by some yummy food. And then we're having a presentation with Moda Living, Angel Gardens. It's a new development, so you will hear more about that any second. I'm Oscar Brooks from Moda. What I thought we'd do today is, because we're launching our new website and the first look at our Angel Gardens building up in the Noma district. I thought we'd do a quick sort of intro to the brand because we've not necessarily done any consumer facing marketing yet. Uh, then we can whiz through the brand video which gives you a first look at all the interiors, all the amenity spaces, some of the services. And then we've got some virtual reality over there that sort of takes you through some of the space in the buildings. And then we can also just do sort of Q and A's and just have a general chit chat. It's all included in your rent. So it's like an all inclusive lifestyle really. And the reason for that is because Post-recession, you know, it's a lot harder for people to get mortgages. There's a massive sort of housing undersupply in the UK, and a lot more people are turning towards rent. I think the average age of purchasing a house in the UK now outside of London is about 38. In London, that's 41. So it just demonstrates how hard it is for people to get onto the property ladder. So Breaking news now for Greater Manchester. <laughs> Oh, 
what you can do is actually have it. You can choose whether you're not whether or not you want it furnished, which is quite nice. Yeah. And then also you have the flexibility to paint the walls as well, so you can really make it your style. It's like a public workspace, like co-working space, which we really like. We'd work together, wouldn't we? Uh, gym. There's all sorts um, included within the rent. Rent starts from did you say nine two five? There we go. Got it. <laughs> Oh my god. So if you just give you that, and then you can move if you move your head around and you can see the little hot spots, and you just press the little cursor, then you can move the cursor there. Have you gone into another room? I think we're not. We've got to the rooms. We've got to the little loop, the little circle. Don't fall over. Ooh, I'm in the dining room. And people start walking, and you're like, yeah. no, don't walk. I know. So like, like, oh, <laughs> I'm on a beach. Oh, oh you're on a beach. Oh, oh no. That's not there's, there's not a beach. That's outside. not the right one. Go into me. <laughs> in the games room. It's getting very into it. In the games room. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. You're over there somewhere out the window. <laughs> Dining room. Okay. Can I just see if you can see? No, you can't. Um, see. Oh, kind of. Yeah. We are in the grand toilets that is the Ivy. Lovely breakfast. Who knows? They might have two potential new customers with me and Lydia because we are quite keen to move into the city at some point this year and it'll be ready to move in in October with reservations from July. We got to take these cute little plants from Frove which is a florist in Manchester. I went for this one which I think will be nice as like a bit of a hanging planter and then Lydia went for this. Is it like a rubber leaf plant? I'll do a little outfit of the day whilst I'm in here. My bag is I think Nasty Gal. I'll try and link it as is the t-shirt. The skirt is from H&M which I love. It's nice and floaty. Shoes are Zara and then this jacket is from Selected Fam. I love your outfit as well. This mango blazer coat, loving it. We're at Kiehl's now to try this new product. It's the serum infused water cream. I use this toner anyway. So we're gonna have a skin consultation at Kiehl's. We are in the Kiehl's at House of Fraser. Got hair in my lip gloss which is so annoying. This is the product that uh, Tom likes, the facial fuel. So we're a big Kiehl's fan so here to get a consultation, try the new product, well take it home to try it and get a full product recommendation of which the PR company are very kindly gifting us. The flagship store on King Street we think we might have got the wrong place so this is actually the new product that we are trying. Have you been trying this yet? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's not, nice. Really it. Who knew they had grooming products for pets? That they'll smell yeah. delightful at £19 a bottle. Let me know, right? Maybe mango. Yeah. £12. I know all the prices off my heart. It's more expensive than H&M. It is. Mango is in general. But you can't tag my Primark cheapos. I know, that's what's annoying because I'm probably fairly well off Primark. Oh god, I know. If Primark was online, honestly, the amount of stuff that I'd be able to tell. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for my skin consultation. This is the product that I've been trying out. It says it's coming soon, so I guess it's not out yet. I'll try and find out when it comes out so you guys can purchase it. <laughs> I like all the apothecary <laughs> bottles that they have. All of those. I like them. Do you know the date for when this comes out? So it's launched now in Extra Self Exchange. It's exclusive to Selfridges. Oh, um, okay. We'll get that in store in June, so we have got a waiting list for that. I like the smell of it. I they the sent it to well. us. They sent it to us with a little vial of like oregano, but it looks oh, wow. like weed. Okay. And we were like, yeah. what is this? Like, oh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. Right, so I'm just going to put one of the skin testing barriers on your forehead and one on your cheek so this will check the levels of oil in your skin to see what your skin type is. This one here is from your forehead, so that is normal from your cheek area. I would say it's actually, I'd say that one's normal to oily Yeah. and your cheek area is normal. And I'll just do the hydration. Oh, yeah, hydration might be drink up. Yeah, really? <laughs> well, I don't know, I'm trying to drink more water. I started yesterday, so. <laughs> You forget no, sometimes. That's no, the thing, it's more about 
I'm just forgetting. So 29.8, so anything below 40 is de dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I then would advise, obviously, the obvious to drink plenty of water. Yeah. But then the products I'll talk you today will help with hydration. Yeah, skin. I beat him, he was 27. Was it? 29.8. Right. I'll write that on here for you so you've got it. Thank you. So I'll just put, I won't say hydrated, I'll say somewhat hydrated. Yeah. Because you're not very dehydrated. Okay. If you were, it'd be like 10, 11. Oh, right, like okay. So this is sort of our nighttime routine. Nighttime routine. And then we'll switch out the midnight recovery oil. Yeah. That one, that and one. add some sunscreen for the day. Yeah. We've added the powerful wrinkle reducing eye cream and then this face mask. Oh, I think I have tried it and you can feel the flowers yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. I like so this. This one's absolutely really it's so refreshing. Yeah. This really is refreshing. Nice. You can put that put that onto clean skin, mm. leave it on for about 10 minutes, and just rinse it off, wash off, yeah. just tissue it off. Yeah. But that's really key. Especially yeah, love that. Skin. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We're in m &S, just doing a return. 100% of the cotton for our clothing is now sustainably sourced. Well done, m &S. Also loving the tomes that they've got on display. Looks quite nice, this display, doesn't it? We are all done. We're just doing some shooting and we're pretty much ready to go home, but we are back in tomorrow for lunch with Steela. Are you wanting to go for a coffee or just set off? No. Okay, lunch tomorrow. I'm actually just outside, just about to turn left at these lights, but this is the Moda building, who hosted the brunch at Ivy this morning. So that is the new apartments. They look very swanky and yeah, finished and ready to move in by October. So on route home, I thought I'd just pop in as I was going past this shopping area, it's called Manchester Fort Shopping Park. There is a TK Maxx here that I used to go to all the time with my mum when I was at uni not too far from here. It was always like full of All Saints, it was always a really good one. There's also H&M here, massive home bar, uh, not home bargains, B&M bargains, B&M. <laughs> is it B&M bargains? Home bargains, B and M. Am I having a mind blank? I don't know. I need a coffee. Clearly, shop is interesting. One below everything, one pound or less. It used to be pound world. So, gonna have a look in there. How yum do these look? This of flora. This limited edition one I don't have, so I think I might get this. I like this idea, a pound holds nine donuts for like a donut wall for parties. Definitely just a rebrand for Pound World, it's pretty much the same stock, same layout. But I do quite like the fact that there are some things that are less than a pound as well. Ooh, so I'm just in the changing rooms. I hate it when they choose your changing room. I feel like I should walk in and choose which one I want. Anyway. So I have these jeans, which I'll show you first. Stradivarius super high waist, they are in a size 10. $5.99 and that's like TK Maxx full price as well, which I think is amazing. There's a little bit of distressing on. They're quite stretchy, so they are more of a skinny fit. And then one, two, three, four, five little like rompers. This one I'm probably not going to try on, but I just wanted to show you again Stradivarius because look at this. $3.99. I think that's amazing. It's a real nice like satiny fabric maybe for holidays. And then these two are fairly similar. So this one is part of the brand Jabna. $14.99 in a size medium. I'd pair this with, it's like a little cross back. Sorry about the baby. <laughs> with a little white tee underneath I think would look nice. I think this one is the same but in a different colour. So same price yet yeah, is. And then this one I quite like the design here with the big loop and the knot detail. Again, in like a romper style with pockets at $14.99. And this one is a longer one, $19.99, but really nice linen fabric, but yeah, a bit longer. This is this sort of length that is on me. These are the jeans, which I like. I wouldn't say they're super high-waisted. I'd probably just say high-waisted. I like the distressing details, but I don't usually go for a skinny fit. If I'm more straight, I think it's a bit more flattering for me, so. Um, nice fit around the waist though. Way too short for me, so it's a no from me. So this is the like dungaree dress version, and I tried pairing it with my white top, but it just did not go at all, so. For like a summer holiday maybe, but it's a little bit too much for me, or not enough for me. <laughs> so of all of the things, it was the one thing that I said I probably wouldn't try on that I actually probably like the most. Um, 
love the like satiny fabric of this super lightweight and loose yeah like on an evening for a summer holiday and at the bargain price of 3 99 I think that's a winner this is cute and then these plant pots are in the clearance how cute is this candle I always love the branding from uh, purity lab but I've not seen it anywhere other than Tika Max also loving this tray I feel like this could be a nice perfume tray $12.99 I absolutely love this at $12.99 I like the fact that it's like torn paper plus I love that font I have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing hello beautiful another section of TK Maxx that I love are the planners I just think they have such pretty planners that I just like spoiled for choice great gift ideas too this is nice 14.99 candle they've got some like outdoor ones love this branding i have their reed diffusers it's again purity lab this one's nice too this one smells amazing this is another brand that i love dw home but i don't like coconut yum back home now via a little <laughs> a little costa trip this was cute from breakfast that we got to uh take one of the plants so i went for this one it's one of these cactus so i've actually just bought one of these from a thrift shop and then keels we got gifted the full-size version of the new calendula serum infused water cream and then there's a couple of other goodies in here midnight recovery calendula mask the ultra facial cream which i use anyway the calendula deep foaming face wash midnight recovery eye all of those goodies are going to go in our little samples jar upstairs and then keels are very kindly offered to send us what our product recommendation um oh no i've left that sheet in keels i think i think i can remember what she recommends for me it's on the vlog anyway i think what i'm gonna do for this afternoon is just head on outside into our little garden and just finish off my coffee in the sun mm. i could probably get the hammock out but i can't really be bothered so i'm just gonna chill here for a minute i want to show you oh this really bugs me because I left before Tom this morning. He always leaves his wet towel after a shower anywhere. And I'm like, just put it anywhere. Put it over the banister, over the bath, whatever. Just not on the bed. I hate wet towels on the bed. Just doesn't go inside his little brain. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you these couple of items that we got gifted myself and Tom from uh, KGA Associates, I think they're called. It's a PR company that worked with a variety of brands of which some of these are their fragrances. Tom went to open it last night and I was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna smell it on the vlog first. This one we actually smell at the lunch if you saw last week's vlog, we went to Grand Pacific with them. So Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc I feel like is a great fragrance to buy for a guy in your life, dad, brother, boyfriend, husband, just because it smells really good and high end, but it's actually like, I'd say mid range price point. Mm, oh. This is probably a bit too masculine for me to wear. As much as I love wearing masculine scents, I do feel like I smell like a man when I wear that. So that's for Tom. And then there's this one, oops, from Dunhill London Signature Collection. I believe there are four different fragrances and they sent me Moroccan Amber, which of the four, I probably would have gone for myself. Ooh, that is, it's still quite masculine, but that I feel like is of the two slightly more unisex oh my god this whole room right now smells so good so the dunhill one for 100 mils it is 120 pounds and then for the mont blanc 100 mils it is 70 pounds i'm gonna tidy up and unpack from shooting today oh no getting a blister on my foot <laughs> and uh put this towel away hello good morning it is wednesday and as promised like i said yesterday i'm heading into manchester today so obviously taking you along with me sure. okay, so this is pretty cool right we need to go via the post office because i missed a parcel yesterday so i'm going to collect that and get there nice and early because i want to do a little bit of shopping first i want to go to primark i want to go to elite which is where i picked up this little louis bag i got my sunnies as well because sun is shining Ah, I'll see you when I get there. Oh 
Okay, parcel collected. I feel like, seeing as they were in the car, I might as well open it up now and see what's inside. Ooh, it's from LA Girl. Okay, so they've sent a couple of beauty blenders, brow pomade in soft brown, and then two other items, the Pro Coverage Concealer, HD Concealer, Concealer, Foundation. Anyone tried LA Girl before? I've heard of it, but I've never tried it before, so, and always handy to have more makeup sponges. Let's head on. I was gonna put my seatbelt on again. I've already got it on. And I'm gonna to listen to my audiobook en route, which is the new one for book club, is called The Familiars. So I've arrived in Manchester. I think my first stop will be Primark. Lydia would appreciate this. Her favorite film, paired with a nice little satin skirt as well. Could be quite a nice little outfit, that. 10 pounds, and then the top is eight. I'm pretty sure that's another one of her favorite films. Love this cushion, only eight pounds. I've got one similar but without the dark thread running through it, but it's old Primark that one, so this would look quite nice with it. Primark done and only about half an hour till Lydia gets here, so I'm gonna have a look in that elite dress agency, the thrift shop. She is a vision in beige. <laughs> a vision in beige. Nice background. I got my Primark bag to shoot, it's my really Primark nice. outfit, my Primark sunny. Well, Primark. It's getting busier, isn't it? Actually. Yeah. It is um, we're going to go into Harvey next now and head up to the Steeler lunch. I think it's probably going to be like similar to yeah, yeah, buffet yeah, lunch what I was thinking. type thing. Any dietary requirements? I said absolutely, absolutely not. No. Just hunger. <laughs> I said we are not fussy at no, all. No, we just like food. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever tried Fenty? No, no me neither. Oh look, cold guy are back. Yeah. It's cute, isn't it? It's like more in person. So I like this beaded one. They have been so puffy. Well, that is like in mango. Yeah. And Zara. I actually tried to look for some of like strappy mid to low heel sandals. I'm oh, in yeah. need of some. The none in and the stories. Um. There are a couple, but they're like straight over my feet, which, because I've got wide feet. Very crisp. Yeah. As we're walking through Harvey Nicks, we've been asked about three times if we want a spritz of perfume. We're trying to think, what's the, I'm sure there's a movie, I'm sure there's a movie where it's something to do with like, oh, spritzer girl, or something. Yeah, it's been a bug me. Yeah, yeah. Is it, <sighs> is it not like something that they mention? Like, it's not actually part of the film. Sex in the City? Uh, is it not the, the, women? The, women, the, the, the woman? The woman. The woman. The women, where it's an all women cast and she's a spritzer yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah. 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 yeah well didn't done. like the husband have an affair with Yeah, her. but yeah. it's an all women cast. There's no male actors in the whole film. Yeah. We talk about yeah. them, but it's a good yeah, film. It's quite a good film. Which colour have you just put on? On my lip. Empowering. Yeah, yeah. yeah awesome. empowering. And then I've gone for this one, which is golden parachute, which is just super light, bronze and goldy. Oh, love this. Look what we've come across. Oh. Do they have names? Yes, they do. 
Dodger. Oh, for Dodger. Yeah, they are huge. <laughs> Some uh, skateboard in here. I can't even stand on a skateboard. I don't even. I don't like. Oh, the past I can smell going. the horses now. Yeah, I'm gonna get home and Tom's like, "Have you been horse riding?" <laughs> Um, did right. you used to horse ride? Yeah, I, I used to horse love ride. It. Did you? Yeah. I did it at school. I set you? up a club for. Did you? Yeah, because there was one in the village at our school, so got a couple of girls on board who also wanted to do it, and we just paid weekly for lessons. In fact, was there not a book called Pony Club? Or something? Uh, okay. I don't know, but there was there was actual Pony Club as well during the summer. I think oh, right. I can't remember. Anyway, we're gonna say bye now because bye. Lydia's getting the train home. Wow, it is hot in here. Ooh, I'm gonna have to take my blazer off. Okay, so just before I do set off home, I'm super excited to get into my little goodie bag, so I thought why not open it up with you guys? Although I'm kind of regretting saying this, considering it is so hot in this car. So basically, they were telling us about the summer collection that they've got, the summer range, and um, oh, they've given us, oh yes. I wonder if they like, no, the, I said the two colours that I love are Empowering and Golden Parachute in the lipsticks. And they're the two that they've given me. They're actually the one that I've got on and the one that Lydia wore. So amazing. Thank you so much to Sila for hosting a nice little lunch. I've got home to a bit of a mess because Tom had to rush out to, unfortunately, a funeral today. So um, he's obviously clearly been at home whilst I was in Manchester and got changed and everything. So it's a bit of a mess. I'm going to have to do a big tidy up this afternoon. I feel like the house needs a clean and I need to start doing a bit of a clear out, a bit of a reorganise, which I might even film as a separate video because I love to watch like declutter and reorganise type videos. So I wanted to close off this week's weekly vlog with a giveaway. As always, I love to do weekly giveaways within these weekly vlogs. Keeps it interesting, keeps you guys interested until the end of the video whereby I run the giveaway. But I'm trying to think of like ways to change up my weekly vlogs a little bit. I'm getting a bit stagnant. I feel like they're getting boring. I work from home a lot of the time, so I'm struggling to sometimes find content to film. So whether or not I change up to be bi-weekly vlogs or not bi-weekly, like fortnightly vlogs and maybe just film interesting days where I'm actually doing stuff or maybe change it up a bit whereby each week is like maybe a haul video or something like that but then includes a bit of vlog. I don't, I don't know. They always get less views so I'm always like, mm, are people less interested in the vlogs? <sighs> Give me ideas, suggestions, maybe more come shopping with me within the weekly vlogs. I just need to change it up a bit because I feel like they're getting a bit boring. Let me know what you think on that. In the meantime, if you want to enter to win this week's giveaway, all you need to do is be subscribed, hit that notification bell and comment down below. Done along with some form of contact, whether it be an email address, Twitter or Instagram handle, just so I can reach out to you if you are the chosen winner in a week's time. And this week I am giving away this Disney Spectrum collection of brushes, which comes in a cute little pouch and then a little makeup bag as well. It's got a little mirror, Disney mirror there and a little insight into what the brushes look like. They are very colourful, bright and fun, but I also am going to include within this bag some extra little makeup fun goodies. So we have some nails, we've got a Benefit roller liner, we've also got a Clarins mascara, some Ardell lashes and also lastly we have some Iconic London, oh! <laughs> Drop that one. Iconic London lip glosses in these three shades. Very wearable and yeah, I feel like some of you guys will really appreciate all the little makeup goodies in addition to the brushes that are within this little pouch. Okay, so this is jam packed full now. So if you want to enter, be sure to do all those steps. Best of luck to everyone who enters. Thank you so much for watching this week's weekly vlog. I do hope you enjoyed it. I know I've been saying I think they're getting a bit boring, but let me know your feedback on them. I know some of you love the weekly vlogs. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys next week. I'm not stopping just yet. I'm not changing things up just yet, but just getting my creative brain thinking of no ideas and new ways to incorporate vlogging weekly that 
it's a bit more fun. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!